This is Twit. David in Rancho Cucamonga. Hi, David. Hey, Leo. How you doing? I'm great. Welcome to the show. Hey, uh, about a month ago, my cable service went out, and I called the cable company, and the guy came out, and he got one one TV running, and he said, oh, by the way, you're going to have to get a cable box for every other TV in your home. And now I've got another seven TVs that don't have cable boxes, never had them, and all of a sudden, they don't work. He said, well, in order to provide better service, we're giving you digitally uh, encrypted uh, video. Uh, uh, let, me, let, me, let me put that in quote. In order to provide you with better service... We're going to force you to have a set-top box on all your TVs. In addition, we'll charge you $7 a month for each and every one. Yeah, can I? is it Comcast? Uh, no, it is Charter. Charter, they all do it. You know what happened? Remember uh, a few years ago, the Federal Communications Commission forced broadcast stations to go digital. And all of a sudden, instead of using your rabbit ears, you had to have, a, with a regular analog TV, you had to have a special uh, higher frequency antenna with a digital converter box. At, at that time, the cable companies went, <laughs> I imagine, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and they sent out notices saying, we're converting to digital. The, they were hoping that the impression the public would get is that this was part of that, that they were being forced to do that. Of course, they weren't being forced to do that. Until that time, cable companies frequently had analog channels that were not scrambled, that you could just literally put the cable into your TV and watch. Uh, but what's happened is that at about that time, they've changed that all over, and now every channel is digital, and nobody at the FCC or anybody stopped them. The real reason they're doing it is, well, the obvious one. They make more money because they, they force you to have a set-top box. But also they can get more channels on the same line. Those analog channels took up the equivalent of, I think, about 10 digital channels. So for every analog channel, you know, channel 4 used to be analog. But that was a lot of bandwidth used for that analog signal. Once it's digital, it's packetized, they can get more data down the pipe. So... That's the other reason. It's it is to your benefit. There there are more channels available on your cable box now, so you do have to. I, I, they they win. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, you have to get a cable box now. Well, I'm looking at converting my whole system over to making something more of a network based system. Well, you know, here's what you could do, different. if you want to. This is a good. This actually will save you the rental. It won't save you money because you're going to have to pay for some stuff. You can get a TiVo, get their Romeo version. You'll have to go to the cable company and say, I need an M card. It's a special uh, PC card that you put in the back of the TiVo that turns it into a legitimate time or charter uh, set-top box. Uh, so uh, then, by the way, every cable company is required by law to offer this. They may not be required to make it easy. They may hide it in the back room. They may perfect per you know, pretend they have no idea what you're talking about, but you need an M card. You put that in the TiVo. Now, the Romeo has the capability to put that television signal out over your Wi-Fi. And you can, they have littler devices that you can connect to all the TVs. So that way, you only need one set-top box. You will have to pay that monthly fee to the cable company for that M card. But you don't have to pay monthly fees for all the other TVs. Yes, I'm, I'm looking at the HD Home Run Prime. Same thing. Converts yep. this yeah, yep. it converts the same thing. Same but thing. my question is, and then what I wanted to do was see the TV on like a tablet and from the same tablet thing. push it to any TV. Yeah, and where you can get boxes that will attach to the TV and do the same thing. Yes. So which box do you recommend? Because I'm looking at Roku's and Chromecast. And no, no, no. You need to get one that's compatible with the home run or whatever system you're using. So I use a TiVo okay. Romeo, so I have to get TiVo. There's special little TiVo boxes that connect up to it. Gotcha. All right. Well, yeah. Now, the thing about TiVo is you do get a monthly fee, and, of course, uh, you'll have to pay for the cable card. But, um, uh, you know. Yeah, the cable cards only run $2 a month versus yeah. a cable box. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper. Seven. Yeah. So you can do this. Now, there are issues. Remember, you're going to be using now your internal bandwidth, and uh, that may affect the quality. If everybody's watching at the same time, it's not going to work very well, so forth and so on. But you have seven TVs. It's probably worth looking yeah. into this. Definitely. <laughs> You'll be spending a lot of money on cable boxes. Yeah, I really felt like that was a, a little scam on the part of the cable companies. And I am I guess that the FCC can't force them to have unscrambled analog channels anymore. 
I think in some cases they are required, but they've pretty much gone all digital scrambled, and that requires you rent a box from them. So they make more money, and then they can also, I mean, they don't have to make it proprietary. They can not scramble them. They could get the benefit of the extra bandwidth without charging you a certain seven fifty a month or whatever. But hey, they're the cable companies. They're here to make money. 